Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And it's time to do PSVR the drop and check out which brand new PlayStation VR games we're going to play next week. We're gonna start from Fuji, coming from the developer Funktronic Labs. Those dudes in past gave us Starberry Taxi, a little cute game when you've been driving beds around in space, because why not? This is something else, you travel in between biomes and in those biomes you find in some seeds. And then when you find the seeds, you're gonna take them with you to your own personal garden and you're gonna plant them and the garden gonna start looking nice and shit and that's what you're gonna be doing in this game. Many describes it more, more as an experience, not a game, but also many saying that it's actually quite fun to play and quite enjoyable little story. So this will be with you on December 10th for the price of $14.99, that's the Steam price, so I'm assuming PSVR price should be same, similar, something like that, you know, $15. Anyway, another game is Space Shuttle Commander Hubel Telescope Missions. So this is already out in Europe, but it will be coming to US and I already review it and I need to call something out because it's starting to annoy me too much now. This game, just like many of PSVR games, don't look nothing like the trailer at all. And I don't mean that they like reformated the pictures so they look a bit different. It's a completely different game what these trailers, it shows you beautiful looking game but in real game there is no of those shadow effects and all those nice skin effects and all those super awesome lightning and stuff, no external shots of your shooter, you just sitting inside, everyone looking blunt and blurry on trailer, it looks sharp as fuck. So I need to call it out a bit and I'm gonna start doing it a bit more because it's happening too much now. Space Shooter Commander is not a good looking game but I would rather them show me the game what it looks like on the trailer instead of me starting to play it and getting disappointed by it. But anyway, if you're still into this stuff, maybe you're gonna enjoy it, maybe not, I don't know. For me, it's step in the wrong direction for the developers and also step back backwards because they've done like more interaction instead of like this knowledge stuff what they used to do, what they good at. And in this interaction, you've got those two little spaceman arms stuck to your waist because they don't move because you play with, with dual shock. You've got those bad graphics, terrible control and everything is just like bland, it's not interesting at all. But anyway, it's coming out next week in US on 11 for $24.99. Okay, and also on 12th of December, worldwide coming touring cards. Now, I spoke about this game a lot on this channel. Also, I had a chance to already play PC version, which is nice, and PSVR version as well, but it's got embargo. I like this game, I said regarding the PC version that it's definitely not a best looking game, it's not a looker, but you can see what it looks like on trailers, at least they don't lie to you. But anyway, it's super fun action, especially if you're gonna go and start playing multiplayer. But if you don't want multiplayer, it's got quite extensive single player component as well. Plus, it's got tons of control options so you can play with your steering wheel in combination with moves. If you got 3D Ruder, you can use that. You can just use dual shock. you can just use moves. Whatever you want, it's, it's there. It's very nice controls in this game. And also, we don't have many racing games and kart racing games. The last kart racing game, VR Cards, was a shit show. And this one is a lot better, so at least there's that. So that's your next week release. Let me know what you think of them and of course if you like what you see seeing then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us and that's it. Bye.